To determine the slope of a line, we need at least two points on the line. Let's say that we had the points 0, negative 2, and the point 2, 12. First, let's plot the points on the grid so we can visualize the line. So we have the point 0, negative 2, and 2, 12. And we draw a line. And we can see from the graph that this is a steep slope. It also goes up to the right, which means it will be a positive slope as well. The exact value of the slope is calculated by taking the change in the y values of the two points divided by the change in the x values of the two points. We write this as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where y2 is the 12, y1 is the negative 2, x2 is the 2, and x1 is the 0. Substituting the values in, we get 12 minus negative 2 divided by 2 minus 0. This will give us 12 minus minus 2, which is 12 plus 2, which is 14 divided by 2, which equals 7. So our slope is 7. The letter M is used to represent slope, so we can add that here. And we'll notice that our slope is relatively steep. It goes up to the right, so it's positive. Once we have the value of the slope, we can use that value to calculate the equation of a line. We need two things to calculate the equation of a line. In our case, we'll use slope and any point on the line. We have the slope of 7 for this line, and I'll pick the point 212 to represent a point on the line. Recall that m is equal to the change in y over the change in x, or y minus y1 over x minus x1. You'll notice that I didn't write this as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 because I don't have a second uh, point on the line. What I do know is that x1 is the 2 and y1 is the 12. So let's see what happens when we substitute these into this equation. We get y minus 12 over x minus 2, all equal to 7. I can write this as 7 over 1, and then just cross multiply, which gives us 7 times x minus 2 equals 1 times y minus 12. We then expand each side of the equation, and I would get 7x minus 14 equals y minus 12. And then we want to isolate the y variable. So I would move the negative 12 to the other side. So I get 7x minus 14, and as I move it across the equal sign, it changes its sign, plus 12 equals y, which leaves us with y equals 7x minus 2. This is the equation of our line. Now normally, we would write this with the y on the left side. That's common convention. So we will just put it over here. y equals to 7x minus 2 is the equation of this line. 